Hey everybody, this is Brian with Trail Grid Pro. Got a couple accessories that we're gonna go over for our Alpine plug and play bundles for your Toyota Tundra. If you remember in the last video where I showed you all of the great feature set and all of the new functions that this Alpine ILX F511 already had built in, in today's video, we're gonna cover two more great accessories that you should consider when buying a new plug and play bundle from Trail Grid Pro. The first great accessory add-on for the Alpine ILX 509 and 511 is Alpine's Bluetooth volume and bass control knob. We have a lot of people that really like using the, the knob to change their volume, it gives them really tactile feel, and Alpine's taking that into consideration. The great thing about this is it does come with a mount, so you can mount it to either side of the screen, or you can mount it wherever you would like using double-sided tape or any other mounting solution because this knob is completely Bluetooth connected to the head unit. And the great thing is you can control the volume or if you push the knob in and then twist, you also control the base level um, right from here, right to the head unit to really dial in your listening experience. The other accessory that we're gonna go over today is this awesome screen protector. These are made by Alpine specifically for the F509 and F511 screens. And these have three great properties that are gonna make this a great addition to your unit. The first is that they are anti-fingerprint. The second is they are anti-reflective. And the third obviously is that they're gonna protect your screen. So we're gonna go over how to install this. Obviously we have a F511 here in the Tundra, so we are going to use the 11 inch screen protector. Opening up our screen protector packet here, obviously we have the screen protector itself, and then you have your little installation kit here. So this is going to include a microfiber towel and the spatula that we're gonna to use to press out any of the bubbles while we're applying the screen protector. So let's go ahead and get our installation kit out we're going to set the screen protector down for right now before we go any further with this important note if you are installing the screen protector while you're installing your bundle for the first time and you are removing the factory applied screen protector go ahead and skip cleaning and using the sticky and all of that and just go ahead and put your screen protector on the moment that you remove the factory applied protection that is going to be the cleanest the screen will ever be so just go ahead and put your screen protector on at that point as you guys know i've had mine in the truck for a little while so we're going to go through the entire preparation process before we apply the screen protector so the first step is going to be to get the microfiber towel and go straight lines all the way across we're going to make sure we get every bit of the screen wiped off we don't want any oil from our fingers any fingerprints we don't want anything on the screen. The next piece that we're gonna get out is this little piece of sticky. So we can simply peel it off. And there's a couple ways to do this. You can fold it in half um, so that you have two sticky surfaces or what I typically do is just, so that I don't get my fingers anywhere near the screen, is use one side of it and we're just dabbing all the way across. This is gonna pick up any little pieces of lint or any particulate that, from the air that may have landed on your screen. All right, now we're done with our sticky. Go ahead and set that to the side. With our screen protector out of the case, uh, the, the blue part here is the actual screen protector and then you have a clear plastic backing. So what we're gonna do is we're actually going to pull down on the plastic backing and we do not want to touch the back side of the screen protector with our hands because that is going to transfer oil and fingerprints. And once the screen protector goes on, anything that's on the back side of the screen protector and on the front of the glass is going to be there. So we're going to carefully pull down on both sides, revealing the top edge of the screen protector. And then we are going to very carefully line this up on either side of the top of the screen. I want to get it all the way up into the corner. Hold the middle right on the Alpine logo with one finger. And we're going to remove the clear backing as we pull down. And you will see that it'll start to self-adhere. At this point, we're going to use our spatula. And I recommend using the microfiber towel again just to put it over the spatula gives you a little bit of a softer edge here. We're going to start in the middle and at a slight angle, we're going to push down. 
and we're going to work any bubbles from the center out to one side. Now that we've done that to the left side of the screen, we're going to go back to the middle, we'll get in an angle, and we're going to work out the bubbles to the right side of the screen. We have all of the bubbles out between the screen protector and the screen. So the last step in the process is to grab the little pull tab. We're going to pull it right back, almost folding it over on itself. Uh, we don't want to pull straight out. Uh, we don't want to risk pulling the screen protector off of the glass. So we're going to pull the tab. Okay, with our screen now protected, we are going to show you how to set up the Bluetooth volume and bass control knob. So like I said in the intro, you have options here as far as if you want to mount it or not, or you can uh, mount it to the screen, you can mount it pretty much wherever, because like I said, it is completely Bluetooth. So I'll show you what comes in the box. You are going to get the Bluetooth control knob. You're going to get a set of screws. There's going to be two different screws here, and I'll grab a screen real quick and show you. Uh, on either side of the screen, there are two mounting holes, so if you want to mount it on the left or the right of the actual screen itself, you can use the provided bracket. Obviously, the one side here is going to mount, you're going to mount your Bluetooth knob to it. The other side is going to go on the screen using the provided screws. And the most important piece of this entire packaging is the included battery. Yes, Alpine did think of that, batteries are included. So the first step we need to do to set all of this up is install our battery. So for that, you just need either like a uh, coin or a flathead screwdriver. We're just gonna pop this cover off and install the battery. Grab our trusty dime here out of the console, pop the back off, set our CR2032 battery in place, put our back back on, grab our coin, give it a twist, and you'll see there that the light has started flashing, that indicating that it is powered on. So we'll go ahead and put our truck into accessory power. We're gonna need to get to the setup screen, so we'll go ahead and depress the emergency brake. Now that setup is illuminated, we're gonna go into the setup menu. We're gonna go to our device, device list, add new device and we'll see right here at the top that alpine knob has showed up we're going to select that and says do you want to connect alpine knob device only one knob can be connected so just remember that all right everybody now that we have our bluetooth knob connected we'll fire up some music and i'll test it out Just like that, installation is complete and this is working awesomely. Okay, everybody, if you want to pick up either the volume base control knob or the screen protector for your F509 or F511, make sure to add those to your cart when you go and pick this up at www.trailgridpro.com. Like always, have a blast out there.